Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we are taking zero through the ultimate randomized roguelands. Let's get this job done. That's randomized skills. That's randomized gear. Let's see if we can find ourselves something that's like an absolute god roll right off the rip here. Let's see, a Laco? Six, about 1.5 milli damage. That, that could be a decent gun to start off here. It looks like it might even have some splash damage on top of it, which is nice. The 50 run, run, 51 round magazine, it could also be good for reload checks. Let's see, a boom puppy, it's got a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and take a, take a look at it. Doesn't behave like a boom puppy. Let's see, a trick shot lead storm, very good damage. And it, it behaves like a lead storm, but it's like a, it's like a ricochet type. It only consumes one ammo per shot. At least a Jacobs, so I can't hold on the trigger. Interesting, okay. Or this Nukem. Decent fire rate. It's Vlad off. It's slag. It's a scory Nukem. Yeah, this could be decent. Its damage isn't so high, but it's going to have good area of effect. Let's check out this Hive. The Hives are... If we're talking about which gun is the most replaceable for me to check out, I think it's this, um, this Boom Puppy. I don't see this one being the best. So let's, let's go and check out this Chikaman Hive. It's a lot of damage. It's pretty good fire rates, Jacobs. And if if it sticks around like the hive does, oh, it's like a fire hive. That is that is a cool weapon right there. Okay, please don't kill me. I'm I'm trying to check out some gear. If it hits me, I'm probably dead. Let's see, a, f a feculent bear cat. Good high damage, slow, uh, relatively slow fire rate. Okay, let's go ahead and replace this Lead Storm for now. And it fires like a bear cat. Understood. Got it. Let's go ahead and pick up some of this standard gear. That way we can actually have, you know, gear that we know works, especially grenades and shields. Okay. Next chest. Rugged Infiltrator. Let's see. A Burst Fire Ahab. Decent damage, decent fire rate, decent magazine size. Electrified shotgun 1340. Fire rate's really, really bad. I don't see it being that good. Let's replace our Bearcat, though, with this bad boy. It fires like the Ahab, which is my least favorite part about the Ahab. And it doesn't have, like, the crazy big damage to go along with it. One more chest. All right, come on. Jump. Thank you. Okay, class mods. Good stuff. Team critical damage is really big. Team accuracy is actually kind of big. Team critical damage again. Okay, before I make my ultimate decision on a class mod, what I'm going to do is see what skills I got in my randomized skill tree here. Okay, I have steady to make grenades and rocket launchers and, and splash damage scaling weapons better, along with strip the flesh. So explosive is going to be really good for me. Close enough and the nth degree for ricochet action. Velocity would be kind of good too, I think. This is a nice skill tree for damage. In this middle skill tree, I have forbearance and pressure, some, some decent defense and reload speed. I'm your huckle there for more pistol damage. Death mark. I don't think I have a way to apply death mark besides standard melees, which is okay. Life tap is a capstone. We have uh, some gun zerker influence here with locked and loaded and insight. Cooking up trouble from gauges skill tree is decent. At one with the gun is greatly improve your accuracy with snipe rifles, which is pretty interesting. I would say... Do or die, more grenade damage. We have a lot of... Our skill tree isn't absolutely, like, the best. But if we take close enough, maybe... Maybe something like... Maybe something like that lead storm might be good. Let's go out there. Let's pitter patter and let's get at her out there. All right, so let's start off with a hive here. Is this my hive? Yeah. Let's see if this bad boy can get the job done. Got a fossil skag, which is immune. A couple fossil skags, which resist fire at least. So I'll switch over to my Jacobs. There we go. And close enough should get the job done here. There we go. Seven kills. That quick is pretty strong. What is it? It's a, sl a slaged... A slagged interfacer. It's a six million times four. 
I might want to get rid of this Nukem and throw on this Interfacer. Seems actually really, really good. It's multiple pellets. Yeah, that's a pretty sick gun. Yeah, it is launcher ammo, but we can increase our launcher ammo if we get if it comes down to it. All right, let's try this red chest over here. What's replaceable? Not the hive. Um, this problem, this gun is probably replaceable. It does seem pretty good though. Let's try it against something. I mean, it seems really good, especially with team critical damage. Whoa, that zoom in though. Later, kid. Rabbit's Cag. This is a good test of damage. Whoa, that's pretty good damage. It's really good damage, actually. This is going to make our choices really tough. See, any others? I think there should be some more enemies over here. Oh, Skags. There you are. So, because of close enough, I'm trying to see if I can just kill them with ricochets. It doesn't seem like it's working that well. But the rabbit skags are getting 100% burned down. And so are the fossil skags, just with this fire gun. It's kind of insanely strong. Okay, so this gun stays. I think the lead storm goes. Miss Moxie's slow hand. Let's see it. It seems pretty good. <clears throat> A conference call. Its magazine size is big. Its fire rate is pretty bad. Its, it's damage is somewhat good. But it's fake. Okay. In that case, if you're gonna give me a fake gun, I'm gonna go back to the slow hand and see how well that can do for us. All right, let's go get him. Good, no more guns to try out, just, just relics. Slag damage, that's, that's good. Increases all damage done with a specific weapon type, increases all damage done. I mean, th these relics, you can't really tell what they are. I believe when they enter your inventory, a lot of times they get re-rolled. Yeah, like this one right here. Got re-rolled into explosive damage, which is interesting. Okay, let's see what we can get. Grenages. Okay, I want to try out these grenages. I'm looking for an actual magic missile. Okay, there's an actual magic missile. That, can, that could be kind of good. Let's keep it for now. It might actually work like, like a standard magic missile, which could be nice. Okay, class mods, good. Accuracy, fire rate, reload speed, and shield capacity. I mean, I'll take it, but it's going to be tough to determine what class mods to use. They're all so varied and different. See an Avenger. Somewhat mediocre damage for that fire rate. This gun, this Varuk, has high damage with a high fire rate, but it's Jacob's. But if we need something for armor, we're gonna, we'll be happy to have it. All right, let's take five points into the nth degree for more ricochets. The more ricochets we can get, the better. Wildlife exploitation preserve. This is a good time to have this hive, I would say. Where did I put it? Did I replace it? No, it's still here. Let's see, yeah, it goes out and it just kind of wrecks everything. Projectiles are still green. Oh my gosh. Like I can just fire this thing from afar and it's chill. Oh yeah. And it's let, let the hive do all the work. Okay, someone's uh, directly on top of me, like messing me up. I'm gonna get a little bit of distance. It's a badass fire skag. That's not good. It doesn't matter. We are too strong with this hive. Oh yeah. Jump me. Didn't make it. Come on. This thing is kind of, kind of impressively strong. Sniper rifle gun damage. No, thank you. Yes, yeah, some more relics, please. So we just take them and then see what they get randomized into when, when I enter my inventory here. Even though Borderlands inventory a lot of times likes to be a little bit, you know, buggy. Bandit damage, explosive damage. I'm not really using a bandit. Boom, 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 boom. The hive, this should scale off of splash damage as well. Let's see. Seraphim. It's fire rate's okay. Oh, this long rider looks kind of good. 
I just don't know what guns to get rid of. I don't want to get rid of this hive. I don't want to get rid of this interfacer. Maybe I'll take the shock long rider. Okay, it's real. His magazine size is kind of low though. What does Miss Moxie say from? Let's try it out. It seems pretty good. This retro could be kind of good if it if it functions properly, which it doesn't. And even this gun, it's got a really fast fire rate. Yeah, and it's got decent base damage. Let's just use this one for a bit. There's not enough enemies to shoot at, but so many guns. We're looking for that gun that takes us over the over the edge, like this bad puppy right here, Hector's Paradise. Actually, its damage isn't so insane, but it's a bandit. Yeah, it's a bandit, and I have a relic to go with it. Bandit damage plus 68%. So let's just take this and, and roll. Take our five points into um, velocity and head out. We're going to have a lot of bullet speed and critical hit and all that stuff. So there we go. Yeah, we're going to be instantly wiping everything now, I think. Good. It fires three rounds per shot, which isn't the best. Team critical damage, melee damage. None of these class mods are really striking my fancy. A decent reload speed on this gun. My air of effect is so insanely strong. I think we just kind of push with this thing. Let's see, what did this turn into? A Logan's gun? Which isn't that good. Okay. Yeah, I think we just keep pushing. Fill to the brim. The fill to the brim will give us more magazine or more ammo capacity and magazine size, right? Isn't that how that works? Magazine size, 25%. Ammo capacity, 15%. That's pretty good. There we go. We can just kind of fire at anything. So we're taking damage from, a <clears throat> from some source. As long as I have extra pellets, you know, I'm kind of doing a little bit of gauge action. Where I'm just letting the bounces do everything. Okay, what's up, Mad Dog? There we go. Gives us a strength relic as well as a Miss Moxie's Ruby. Okay, what you got for me? Something good here, maybe? One million times 11, but its fire rate is so slow. A value stinger very low damage low fire rate we're not gonna take it cooldown rate i don't think i have enough skills to make it my cooldown rate with that worth it okay i think this skill tree is, is just about done i mean inconceivable is nice but it doesn't pair with anything that's necessarily that great let's do locked and loaded it's more fire rate and move on we might try to even speed run this i mean our guns will be gone once the next tier starts, but hopefully I can use this this bandit SMG to push through a little bit. I like that team critical damage a lot. Let's get a reload off. And that way we can get the extra fire rate from locked and loaded. And just watch all of our enemies disappear. If I can kill them before they kill us, that's a big get. Give me that iridium, please. Open up this chest. Okay, we have... I think we got the deeps. Its accuracy is not the greatest, but we're just going straight through his... Straight through his shield here. Oh, that's not good. Don't kill me. There we go. We get the kill. We get the invincibility. Good stuff. You can't kill me with that. It ain't gonna happen. And Sendary Seraphim, low fire rate. Again, these guns have got super low fire rate, which makes me think that they're not that great. Let's see, yes. An opposing slow hand. High damage, low fire rate. Fireball. Do, 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 do. Okay, a slide kitten's kind of good. I could go for something like a blockhead or a stink pot. Because they have splash damage scaling. A rapier could be interesting as well. Oh my gosh, if only I could keep that power phobia. Because it gets, once it enters your inventory, it gets completely randomized. Okay. Drop down. 
Yes, more radium, please. Okay, I'll take those TDR Legion's relics. And let's go insight. Give me more movement speed and movement speed. Uh, reload speed and movement speed after taking damage, which is pretty important. By the temple. I've got a great build for this round. I just tossed a magic missile out there. There we go. Doesn't look like that magic missile is slagged. It looked like it was doing corrosive damage, but we have out so much AoE with nth degree and close enough. It looks like sounds like my grenade's still going off. I'm not sure what's causing it that to just keep exploding, but I'm not against it. Not against it at all. Alright, Trace Dos Uno Sanctuary, raid boss. Let's make quick work of this. Something good, please. And let's do SMG and then go across the board taking just a couple other things. Launcher as well. There we go. A Thompson. Okay. And I'm going to say well, my magazine is full. Get more damage. Doesn't make that much sense to me. How about the lower my health, the more reload speed I have. That sounds good. Okay, we get Hyperius, which is interesting. We do a lot of damage to him off rip here. Okay, let's just stop shooting for a second. I'm just going to keep our distance, because if we get too close, the ricochets will kill us. There we go. I don't have a Singularity or anything. I don't have Boar. There we go. We should maybe be able to two-phase this guy, one-phase this guy. Okay, he's back up and running. Can't go. Oh, I think I, I did so much damage to him that I bypassed it. Very sick. All right, just run around. Grab this Iridium. Gimme, gimme. The gear doesn't matter that much. The gear does not matter that much, but the Iridium matters. Okay. I think that's it for Iridium. Oh no, it looks like he, he splooged his, his Iridium all over here as well. Okay, let's take this. More Iridium equals more max ammo. Okay, on to tier number two. Actually, 17 minutes is insanely fast for a tier two. All right, check, 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 check me out. Okay, never mind. Dang. The, the ceiling is so short, I can barely even hop. This game hates me. Three rights in a row. Oh, ho, ho. three rights don't make a left. Straight and then up across. How come I can't take this iridium? Give me that Sheba. All right, on the tier two we go. Hopefully a couple of our guns can escape the nerf apocalypse. My bandit definitely did not. I think I still have my hive. I don't want to shoot it here in case I die. That gun definitely did not escape it. Let's see. Any of these other ones? This ruby, I think, is a randomized ruby. It's got a really fast fire rate. Install. This damage isn't that crazy high, but it, it could be kind of good against some slagged up enemies. Anything else I can try to maybe make use of? I want to use unrandomized guns if I don't have to. But at this point, I think having a blockhead on standby is actually kind of important. Let's go ahead and look for better guns. What does my grenade do right now? Nothing. Okay. Electrically, just toss it. Nothing. Got to be careful throwing these grenades because that's how I died in the last run. Times 20? Grenade? I'm not too sure. My right, class mods. What is my current class mod giving me? Team critical damage. Okay. Just the fire rate and magazine size. That could be kind of sick. It could speed up my fire rate with this gun. It could it give us more mag size. Make it everything would do more potent. These guns look kind of good. 
Okay, yeah, Gwen's head. This fire rate is fast. This Mongol's damage is pretty good. I want to shoot it. Okay, that's, that's probably getting splash damage. And my slot number four, I can probably replace as well. Incendiary, Gwen's head. That doesn't seem bad at all. Is it going to hard carry me? I'm not so sure. See a toothpick. Its damage is meh. Its fire rate is low. Yeah, I need I need better damage from it if it's gonna if it's gonna be on my squad. Thirteen forty. High fire rate, actually kind of high damage as well. I think it's a little bit worse than my current one. Okay, let's go out there. Let's see what we can find in the rogue lands to help us out. All right, so we need something to beat fleshy enemies. Is my hive still functioning as a fire hive? No, it's functioning as a corrosive. Okay. Ultimate badass? That's not good. Okay, wait. Uh, oh, he's got some sort of really powerful gun. Oh, dang it, my guns are terrible. Oh, man. I can try this flacker. It just sounds so bad. What I might do is swap over to this blockhead. There we go. That's not working. That's not working. I thought I said blockhead. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to make it. I can't make it. I can't live. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, my gun sucks so bad. Come on, blockhead. Get me there. Get me there. Okay. Go into fight for my life. Toss some grenades out. Hopefully this grenade is real. I don't think it is. It's not. Maybe this incendiary transfusion is real. And that should do some good damage. Nope, it's not. Maybe this breath of terramorphosis is real. I don't have any grenades left. It's panic time. Time to panic. Time to panic. Get, get to my action skill. Get to my action skill. Okay, I'm hoping that this blockhead can perform... It's doing an okay job for me. Okay, this should... That grenade should do some good things inside that zone. Six out of 15 is good. Oh my gosh, look out behind me. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I was in the middle of casting my deception. Oh, okay, I'm back up. No, that's not good. Chain down. Come on, get up, back up, and run for my life. Toss a couple grenades out. There are too many enemies around. Oh my goodness, we're gonna die. Deception out. Oh man. Not too sure I'm supposed to live. There's, keep, there's so many badasses and enemies with insanely strong guns around. Okay, maybe I can kill this guy. Yeah, with, with gun number one here. Okay, 14 out of 15. 14 out of 15. One more. I don't want to have to fight this guy. Anybody else? Yes, you. Okay, we made it. Oh my goodness. We barely survived that round. I need to farm, man. Woo. Golly. Alright, what I'm going to do is this. I'm taking this corrosive shotgun that looks like she looks really, really strong. Consumes 7 ammo per shot. But it's... Damage looks really, really nice. I understand. I understand completely. And once I shoot it once, it never stops shooting. So this is gonna... That's definitely a boss shredder. <laughs> that gun seems kind of good. Yeah, this gun is... Yeah, this corrosive shotgun is... Wow. If you want to kill something, you can kill it quickly with this. You shoot and then switch weapons to make it stop shooting. Okay, understood. Golly. That is quite the weapon. Okay, let's do... I would say... Don't have that much to push for. 
Except for a little bit of defense, maybe. Let's go forbearance. And we can push on this middle tree to maybe get some life tap. I'm gonna keep farming. I have one gun that I think is good. This this SMG. But it's gonna burn through ammo. See a quartz fire drill. Bad fire rate. Hammer Buster. No thanks. A rubberized Kazar. Tossing it. I don't think it's gonna do what it says it does. Just blow up on something and pull them in, please. Okay, it does pull them in. Perfect. At least it does what it says it does. Let's keep farming for red chests. Right now we got a lot of replacements to get. Yes, guns. You got them. I need them. This Moxie Stomper is high damage, very low fire rate. This gun seems really good. Millie? The decent fire? But it's semi-automatic with a low magazine size. I have too many corrosive guns, my problem. It's all corrosive right now. I need something that's that's fire or something that's shock that's somewhat decent. I can't do it with just just these ones. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop all this meaningless trash out of my inventory. Look at this. It all just randomizes into like useless ass junk. Get okay, to critical damage, cooldown rate. I don't need all of these fire rate ones. Just a couple. One or two. Okay. All those guns can go bye bye. Okay, a yellow jacket. Fire rate is good. Damage is okay. It's shock, which means I'll probably take it. I have velocity, which kind of mitigates some of the, the bad sides of being a a yellow jacket. This gun seems really, really bad, and that's simply because of the fire rate, unfortunately. Other than that, fire rate actually seems pretty good. Yes, more guns. This is what I'm looking for. As many guns as I can get my hands on. It's a fire gun. It looks actually pretty good. It's TDR. Its damage is over 1 million. Its fire rate is 11.3. Max size 94. Accuracy leaves a little bit to be desired. Is it dull? No, but it is burst. Okay, Slag Hellfire doesn't seem that great. Incendiary Blockhead. Ooh, that's much, much better. Its damage is well over 2 million. Its fire rate is 10. I think that'll be a little bit better. Okay, and then let's take pistol fire rate magazine size. Good. And if I if I hit fire this, it's automatic, right? Nope. Okay. Even though even though I don't have a single gun that's like truly overpowered, I feel I feel like with my crow's gun, my fire gun, and a shock gun. That I should have enough tools to get this done. I don't want to get too into the, the minutia of different. Whoa, whoa! Okay. Jeez. I hate when enemies have just have the most OP guns. Okay. Back to it. Could you please spawn in, homie? Oh, I'm completely out of ammo. Golly, man. Dang it. Let's go to this hive and just pray that it can do something. Reload, 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 reload. Okay, I think it's doing... Okay, damn, it's actually corrosive. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's corrosive. Perfect. I like that. And I know that it will survive the nerf apocalypse because it's already survived it once. Good. Get drained. Get drained. Good stuff. Okay. Anybody around? Let's toss out a couple grenades at you. One at you, and then run for my life. I should have just drop reload, but I'm not. 
from my grenade not not pull you in or something come on go ahead hey get him hive get him luckily none of these enemies seem to have like super op guns drop reloading is gonna be the way from now on i think i'm just gonna take two shots drop reload that didn't work when i dropped it and re-put it in my inventory it re-randomized No, it didn't. I was gonna say, that is an insane interaction. Let's hit this shotgun and see what it randomized to. Nothing good. Dang. Okay, I think... What I should probably do is take steady. That's going to increase the damage of my hive, which I, I seem to be depending on quite a bit. Okay, my number four slot is up for gra or it's actually my three spot. Okay. Should I check these out? And the grenades just don't do it for me and randomize. Just because there's just so many ones that don't do anything. Okay, guns. Guns, guns, guns. Could be pretty good. It's really high damage. I have velocity. Doesn't seem that good. It says time 17, but... Oh yeah, it looks like it is time 17. Okay. Any more red chests around? In here, maybe? Nope. There should be some more. I feel like I haven't looted that much. One over here? Nope. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Slow fire rate. Okay, damage. Okay, damage. Okay, fire rate. Overall, I think it's worse than what I've got now, though. This 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 gun's got a fake fire rate because it's a Jacobs. And this rock salt seems okay, but not better than this SMG, which I'm pretty sure can like shred the earth. If I get Saturn or Uranus, just pop this bad boy out and just let it fly. Deliverance. Kind of bad. So is that landscaper. All right, we go next stage. Hopefully next stage we can find that gun that takes us over the edge because so far we have not found it. All right, I want to stick with the hive for now. See that cowboy? Really slow fire rate, although it does have decent damage. Miss Maxi's good touch. Guns just don't have it numbers wise. Numbers wise, they're not pulling pulling their weights. This is drop reload. Drop reload. Oh gosh. Oh, he shot me mid-air while my deception was active. That's certainly something. I should live here, right? Surely? Oh my gosh, I do live. What in the world, man? Hey, this shotgun's actually kind of insane. No? Just drop reload it. Who's shooting at me with, the, with those kinds of guns? Holy cow. There we go. Is it one-shot robots? It does. Huge. Not this robot. Not this robot. No. I can't see anything. There we go, we're back up. Only 6 out of 10, holy cow. You gotta stop what you're doing. Thank you. Really fast reload speed on this bad puppy. Oh, when our health is low, I guess. No, no, no. There we go. Land the hit, get the kill. Two steps required. Angelic guard, how long? Um, we're actually kind of shredding it. Yeah, we've got standard explosive damage on this bad boy. Or regular damage, not even explosive damage. Just standard kinetic damage. Cross that. 9 out of 10. This guy's gone. Thank you. Come again. Holy cow. It's getting... It's super intense. Okay, this gun's actually not so bad. Well over a million damage. Decent fire rate. Accuracy is not bad. I'm not sure if I will take it, though. Let's go for... 
thing is explosive damage. I'm not doing explosive damage, even with explosive guns, it feels like. So until I get a gun that's actually doing it, I'm not going to take it. And I'm going to instead take Tyrannosaurus here. Get some more health regen going and head to the next stage. Come on, guns. I know you got this in you. Oh, that is not a good start. Not a good start at all. Anybody else around? Yep. I just have no defense at all. I'm like zero, but even worse as far as defense goes. I think I have good guns, just not. It's a Jacobs, it's a yellow jacket. It's high damage, high fire rate, high magazine size. But it's just, it's these Jacobs that. Let's try this gun out. Oh, it says infinity, but it's not. It's it fires one then reloads. That's that's really nice of you to do. That's awful. Holy cow, getting the worst guns in the world. My number three slot is definitely up for business or was it my number four? My number one is this cross of SMG. My number two is this this trash. My number three is this shotgun that's been doing pretty well. And my number four is the hive. Okay. Got it. Climb me. Use me. Ooh. Okay, anything could be good. It's another bear cat. Not my favorite. Pitchfork high fire rates. But this gun, when I do use it, when it does work, it's actually insanely good. And this pistol gun damage crossbow's not doing much for me. I kinda want. Reload speed and shield capacity. Okay, this isn't a slide transfusion. I can all but guarantee you it's not. Oh my gosh, what if it is? It just, it just fizzled. Okay, you're gone. You're gone. The shotgun's insanely strong. Is it going to one-shot Spyco? No. But it is going to do decent damage to him. Let's see, a toothpick and 55,000 damage. Slow fire rate, though. It's that slow fire rate that will get you. And I'm getting a lot of guns called Yellow Jackets, which automatically makes them kind of worse because of the way the bullet fires. Anything else? I'm not shooting the banjos or anything like that. Okay. That'll be it for me. And then... Go death mark. I think that we definitely go crisis management. Because it's the only thing that's giving us an actual, like, decent buff. It's like, the game gave us a whole bunch of Krieg skills that puts us on fire, but I don't want to be put on fire at all. Alright, so let's go to our number one gun here. And just let it fly. That's why I have it. That is why I have it. Yeah, sure. It absolutely just... Just spams through your, your ammo, but... Like, if we get Uranus or Helios... Or Uranus or Saturn, it's gonna do big things. Huge things, in fact. Alright. Let's use our shotgun here and take Crisis Management for one and Life Tap for four. We actually have some life steal now on kill. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Later, kiddo. Thank you. Ow! At least there's another snowman spawning. Holy cow. This shotgun's awesome. Love it. Boom. Boom. Hey. Yes, this thing is so much fun to use. It's everything that an explosive shotgun should be. Boom! Later, kid. And it's definitely got this time 17 that it advertises. Thank you. Come again. I probably will take the token of giving. Just because it's going to give me a whole bunch of new guns to look at. Go ahead and toss my fizzle grenade. 
Thank you. Anybody else? Token of giving inside here. Well, you just spawned directly on top of me. That doesn't seem very fair. Okay, while I'm waiting for the other snowmen to spawn, I'll open up some chests. Thank you. Just gotta be careful. Thank you. I would take a shield that's like a, a vastly higher capacity than mine. Okay, one more. Thank you. Gotcha. Let's see, max health. We take both of these. SMG max ammo plus 115% sounds kind of good. But see how, look at, see how this doesn't actually do anything? Look at this Legion's Relic. It doesn't actually do anything. So it's really hard to know what we like to, ch to take when they all kind of just morph, in, morph into each other. Let's see, the Slag Triketra. Good damage, good fire rate. Really good magazine size. I think we found ourselves a pretty decent gun. Hopefully. Yeah, that's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Okay, high fire rate or medium fire rate, high damage in this madhouse. An evolution. I think I'll take it. Yeah, 1.4 milli is kind of good. Kind of good. Not great, but kind of good. We have ourselves a Lyud Milla. Got decent fire rate. Its damage is okay, but its max size is kind of minuscule. A little bit tiny. Let's see. No. Yes, maybe. Let's see. This gun stays. This gun stays. This gun stays. The hive can go. Let's check out this infection cleaner. I think this gun could be good. It's gonna be hard to beat it. A right, slag transfusion. Maybe it will be a slag transfusion? No. How about a fire burst? Will it actually be a fire burst? I think it, it might be. Okay, let's take our five and head out. One point life tap. And then... Now, this kind of stuff really doesn't matter too much. My skills are not the greatest overall. But we're going to be fighting the raid boss. And I'm going to go... SMG capped. Sniper capped. Shotgun cap. No reason to hit the box because the box is randomized. Okay, Pyro Pete. Pyro Pete takes damage from slag, if I remember correctly. It's not terrible. Not the best, but not terrible. Oh, explosive damage. It's doing explosive damage. Can I hide for a second? I think I survived the Nova here. There we go. Don't get hit by the Nova. Holy, that's a lot of carnage. And do I have any points in two strip the flesh? No, I don't. Which means I'm going to probably respec and take it. So steady, close enough, nth degree, velocity, go to the brim, strip the flesh. Then it's pressure, Tyrannosaurus, crisis management. One point in death markers to get us down. And then it's forbearance. Life tap. Locked and loaded. Insight. There we go. I'm surprised I'm not doing more damage to this guy. I don't want to swap over to my other corrosive gun because I just don't feel like it's going to... Yeah, it's not going to do that much. We, we dodge this this Nova. How about gun number three? How's this bad boy gonna do? 
It's actually doing okay. I'm just not landing any crits with it. And no crits. This gun might still be the best. This guy does just not like to take damage from explosives. It's going, it's going. I'm almost out of blammo though. Oh, and the run ends. That is tough. I accidentally hit the pillar in front of me. And we can't get through Pyro P. He's just a really tanky raid boss. I mean, we're, we're getting him down, but not fast enough. We tried our best. But the run ends at Pyro P. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to some more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.